was fortunate enough to be born in a very family-oriented environment. I have a dad who is constantly working his butt off just to provide for us, a mom who is incredibly caring and supportive, and two brothers who are totally polar opposites, but chaotic in different ways. As the eldest daughter, I took it upon myself that I would immediately always think about them in whatever I'm doing. That includes my work and college duties. While I consider myself to be a papa's girl, I'd say my biggest pillar of support would definitely be my mom. Sorry, dad. She is my partner in crime, the best friend I thought I'd never have, and my YouTube channel manager and secretary. Therefore, you could tell that we are absolutely close. Too close, I would say. Now, I study in a university that is very far from my hometown, literally more than 50 kilometers away, and it would take us two hours just to arrive there. Sometimes it would reach even three hours if it's traffic. And knowing how traffic it could be in a very populated city, that is no surprise. So instead of making the habit of waking up at 3 a.m. in the morning, leaving at 4, and then arriving there at 7 because my classes start at 8, we came to the conclusion of looking for a place that's near my university so that I won't have a hard time. Originally, I was supposed to stay in the dorm, but it turned out so badly that we decided to switch. I'll make a story time about that in another time. But anyway, that's the start of me living alone. When my mom dropped me off to the condo, she was bawling her eyes out because she's going to miss me all over again. She kept on telling me to answer her calls and texts and always do video chats with her, and that was totally fine by me. Okay, before I move on to the next part, there's something you need to know about me. I get preoccupied with things easily, especially when it comes to my work. My attention is always locked to whatever I'm doing, whether it be editing a video, making animations for Gotcha Online, voice acting and script writing, anything that you could think of that is work-related, I would immediately focus on that. To the point that I wouldn't even be aware of whatever is going on around me. So even if there's gonna be a natural disaster going around at my area, I would still be focused on my work. That's how focused I could be. Which led to the problem. This happened when I was casting VAs for the extras in AMR episode 6. Yes, I am already working on episode 6, even though I'm supposed to be working on episode 4. But anyway, me, Hyping, Magic, and Lumi had been shortlisting people for 4 hours straight. 4 hours. With no distractions, no messages, and no phone calls. Which you could probably tell what happened next. When we finished shortlisting, I immediately checked my phone and... Believe it or not, when we were in that scolding session, it was literally like there's a war going on in my ear with her words. When I wasn't picking up, she told me that she was almost going to call the receptionist and the condominium to check on my unit and see if I've been abducted or something. If it took me longer to reply or even respond to her texts or calls, I think she would be like... 911, what's your emergency? My daughter's dead! Thank God that that didn't happen. So I immediately apologized and said that I was in the middle of casting people. I was in a call with my friends who are helping me out with it. On Discord. And then she immediately came up with the idea. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. So that I'll be sure that he will pick up the calls, I will make myself a Discord account and you have no escape. If you don't pick up the calls by then, I am definitely throwing your phone out of the window. Fine by me. And so that happened. She made a Discord account with a username that I will not say for safety reasons. I taught her about how voice calls work, and she started calling me there whenever I'm not answering my phone calls. Now, bear in mind, this is just supposed to be for emergency purposes. But lately... Wait, she's calling on Discord? Did I miss her call again? Oh boy, hope I'm not gonna get in trouble. Hello, Ma, did I not answer my phone again? I'm so sorry, I got preoccupied with- No, I didn't call you on your phone. I actually called you here straight away. And I got something to ask you. Okay, then what do you want to ask? I was hoping that you would teach me more about Discord. I'm actually having fun with the app right now. But I thought this was for emergency purposes only? You know, when I'm not answering my phone calls? I've been liking Discord more than Messenger, honestly. I love the video quality here. Um, 
Also, I've heard about servers. Can you tell me more about that? Uh... Oh, do you actually have a server? Can I join? No, you cannot join my server. Why not? Safety reasons. So, what did we learn from this video? Don't give your mom a Discord account, otherwise you're gonna have instant regret. Hey guys, Teach here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I certainly hope that this gave you a little bit of a chuckle. And if you did enjoy it, please do leave a like. Comment down below if I should do more videos like this, story times and everything. I actually do enjoy these kinds of videos where it's just random talking about life, some random things that's been going on, you know? And uh, I actually do this a lot in my Discord server. I host weekly podcasts where I talk about random things like spoilers, whether it would be from my series or just my channel in general, or just about life experiences, advices, you know it. So if you're interested in that, make sure to join my Discord server. The link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell on ring a ding ding so that you won't miss any upload from this channel. Thank you all so much for your patience and support. I absolutely appreciate you all. Stay amazing and God bless. And remember not to give your mom a Discord account. Siege out.